Hello. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Scotland. You know, the uppy bit and then right a little bit. We're so far north, we're in the North Pole. I thought you were going to say Hebrides. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very exciting day today. Yes. For two reasons. The first reason is Sean's got his new wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> which we'll show you in a little while. We're saving the best for later. I've got That's, to put it together yet. That says a lot when we're saving the wheelbarrow for later, doesn't it? <laughs> I've got to assemble it. The second exciting thing, apart from it being lovely and sunny and warm, is that we've heard, we've been told by forecasters that tonight there's going to be an Aurora Borealis. <laughs> Said it that time. Yes. An Aurora Borealis. Apparently there's been a big sun flare. There has and we're gonna try and see it because we've never seen the Northern Lights before, have we? No. But the thing is, I want to get some photographs to show you, but it means using my digital, my DSLR camera. And he hasn't got a clue. I thought you were gonna say, and I haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been tough, wouldn't it? Yeah, I have got a DSLR that's been tucked away for a while and I have trouble understanding things sometimes and to catch the northern lights on a DSLR I'm going to have to use the manual settings. Point and shoot won't work because it won't auto focus on dark. I've got this. Yeah. <laughs> good, good luck with that. So this morning I've been trying to learn, well I've been basically I've been going on Google and researching how to photograph the northern lights like that. That's like playing a, a tiny piano in it. <laughs> Richard which, Kleinerman. Which I can't do either. Uh, so I've been researching how to photograph the Northern Lights and one of the things I need to do in preparation is we have to go to where we're going to be photographing the Northern Lights. We're going to Loch Brora. Come on. You might recognise this place, this is where we filmed a few of the vlogs over the last few weeks and it is a lovely spot. Uh, the reason I've chosen this to come and hopefully, fingers crossed, get some shots of the Aurora tonight is because, well a couple of things, one, it's very dark, there's no lights, there's no houses or street lights or anything, uh, but that is north, so obviously we want to look north, also it's quite a low, apart from that big hill, it is quite low down, so I mean if the lights are just in the kind of horizon, then we'll get a better view. Hopefully it'll fill the whole sky. That'd be ace, wouldn't it? It'd be brilliant. It looks like he's having a wee, but he's not. I'm not, I promise. <laughs> so why have I come here during the day? Because we're not going to see the Northern Lights during the day. Well, I'm not very good with a digital SLR camera, to be honest. I normally just use my iPhone or a video camera. Uh, but I'm going to have to use it and I'm going to have to use manual settings, which I know, I've got to be honest, I know very little about. Uh, but I've been doing some research on how to really get the best Northern Lights photographs and I've never done it before. And one of the tips is about not being able to uh, manually focus when it's dark because there's nothing to focus on. Uh, so what I've done is I've come here during the day so that I can focus on what they call infinity, which is the furthest point away and apparently that makes for better shots. So I'm gonna uh, get the camera out, focus on the furthest points where I might wanna photograph and just make little marks on the ring, on the manual ring, so I know uh, where to set it tonight when we come back and hopefully there's something to photograph. You can have a wee now. So keep your fingers crossed because if I can learn to work the camera, <laughs> and the skies are clear and the, the, the flares come from the sun or Uranus or wherever it is they're coming from, then we might see the Northern Lights and Sean will be seeing stars for a whole different reason tonight. Yes, last time I saw stars like that was when I banged my head on the mangle. Ken Dodd, classics, isn't it? Today, we're gonna to start preparing the land because the first thing that's gonna be arriving, probably by next week's vlog or the vlog after, uh, are the chickens. Now, or the hen house first. Remember at the beginning when we said exciting news, we've got a wheelbarrow. I have. It's your moment. It's my moment. Go and get I'm it. I'm going to go put it together.
get a good look because it's never ever ever going to be that clean ever again. Can we take it for a test drive? Yeah. <laughs> Hold it any longer! I've hurt my boo boo! <sighs> you alright? <laughs> Sean's got a boo boo! <laughs> no, we're only kidding! What a kidding! <laughs> right, we've got a wheelbarrow. Now we ought to use it. Start clearing some stuff! We've got a path from the top of the drive right down to the bottom down here that hasn't been used for looks like donkey's years. So we're going to clear this because we're going to need to have access down at the bottom. Already done the first two runs on these steps and it's revealed some lovely stone. It's going to be beautiful when it's finished. We're back. I can't see the camera. I can't see you. <laughs> As you can see in the background, uh, the sun has set the moons kind of behind Sean who's filming me. Uh, we've got the DSLR set up. Uh, I've got all the manual focus points set up. You remember from earlier when I was focusing on the mountains in the background. Uh, so I've got those set up, but I'm also going to try if I can and focus on some stars really far away and see if we can get some clear images with the stars as well. I'm looking forward to this. We use an app on our mobile phone. There's two or three that you can get, but the one with, that we've used uh, has said that in the next hour it's due to start and we should start seeing uh, some colour uh, towards the north of us here. I don't know if you can tell, I can, I can just kind of see a very faint kind of green haze. Can you see it, Sean? No, I'm looking at you through this. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start uh, taking some practice shots with the camera uh, and see what happens. You alright there, nitty head? Got nits. No, I haven't. It's been an interesting couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah. Maud? I ain't called you Maud for ages. No, have you I? haven't, have yeah. you, Gert? Yeah. Sean got his wheelbarrow. I have. We saw the northern lights. We did. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep practising on things like focusing. And what I'd love to do next time, if we, get it, if we can get the conditions right, is I want to take the drone up and get like a time lapse of it going in a curve with all the... I bet that'd be amazing. That's going to be difficult. I am working on it. And Sean's working on his chickens. Now that we've cleared a bit of land, we can order the chickens. And we've seen one we like. It's hair. Well, no, not it's hair. They don't have hair, do they? Feathers. Or lips. No. Nope. Chicken lips. Chicken lips. <laughs> do you remember that from the boat? And teeth. They don't have teeth. They don't have they? teeth. Is it hens that don't have teeth? Chicken do, don't they? It's just hens that don't. A hen and a chicken are the same thing. So we've seen this chicken online. It's actually called Gertrude, but its hair at the back looks like her off... Oh, what, what am I thinking of? Uh, Bet Summer. Midler. No, not Midler. Uh, oh, Coronation Turpin. Street. No, she made hot pots. Lynch, Bet Lynch. Bet Lynch. Its hair looks like Bet Lynch at the back, its back end. It, yes. Obviously, Bet Lynch's hair didn't have a big, like, poo hole in the middle of it. <laughs> but, 
You know what I mean, don't you? <laughs> kind of look Can't like that. say that! <laughs> so, uh, chickens on the way. Yeah. Uh, and then the bees, I've ordered uh, two... Uh, two hides. Two sets of bees, and they're coming shortly as well. I can't wait to show you that one. Yeah. Uh, but we hope you've enjoyed your little visit with us today. Uh, there's more on the way. If you are not already, please subscribe to the channel. That helps us out. I feel like I have to bob down, because the camera's quite low and I'm quite high. There you go. Uh, what? Bizarre. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button, and click the notifications bell, and YouTube will let you know every time we release a new vlog. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can do so in one of two ways, or both ways, if you'd like that. Uh, one is to join us as a Patreon. There's a link up above Sean's head. Yeah. The other is to join us as a YouTube member. It's the same thing. Same thing. Or you could send it in a brown envelope. <laughs> <laughs> you could, yeah, actually, yeah, you could do. Uh, details are also down in the video description if you want to know more about that. Oh, I'm loving this weather. It's gorgeous. You know, winter's going to come back one yeah. last time. It always does, doesn't it? Around Easter time. That two foot of snow. And bites you in the bum. It does. Speaking of which. Oh! Ta ra! Ta ra! <laughs> ah, la 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 la. Sam Smith did that one. What? La 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 la. I do it much better. It's, it's G'd me up a bit, hasn't it? It's like you sat on a horse. What they're called? On a pole. You know what I mean? Like that. And it's got. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? It's got like a horse's head on it. <laughs> and you ride it, don't you? Like that. <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you? You used to have them when you were a kid. A cock horse, isn't it? <laughs> cock horse. I want a cock horse. You're not really going to get cheese from Billy Goats. Well, not that sort of cheese from Billy Goats, anyway, <laughs> are you? So we get in Danny Goats. I won't tell you why he's laughing. <laughs> you having a stroke or what? <laughs> Uranus. You're not, <laughs> you're not allowed to say Uranus anymore, are you? What? But I read on some. <laughs> I read in one of his scientific magazines. I don't know which planet it was. Oh, it, God. I don't know which planet it was, but apparently you could fit six Plutos in my India retina. <laughs> is, that, is that right? <laughs> I did read that, didn't I? Yeah. Is, it, is it Pluto or Mercury? It's one or of them, I don't know. You could yeah. fit six Plutos in your anus. That's, oh. that's just... <laughs> no, you can't do that. It's got a few positive things about uh, photographing the Northern Lights, if they turn up. Yeah. 